Welcome to a new video of our web development with Flash tutorial. In this video, we are going to focus on the setup of the application. We will create a virtual environment and install the Flask dependency, everything that we need to get our application running. I want to focus on the running application so you can try things by yourself and you don't have to wait for the following videos, in which of course we will explain what is going on and how the application actually works. So let's get started. As you guys know, all the content of this tutorial is going to be free and open source. You can access all of it on GitHub. In this case, I have created a Cloud9 workspace so you can have access of all the work that we do in after the videos are done. What we have to do, the first thing we have to do is create a virtual environment to install our Flask dependencies. I'm going to do mkvirtualm, the command to create a virtual environment, and I will decide a name that I like. In this case, I'm just going to use Flask Introduction. Once the virtual M is created, you will see that it's active because you will see the Flask Introduction name that I gave at the start of my prompt. I will now install the Flask dependency. You will see that this repository also contains a requirements file that basically lists all the requirements for this particular application. If you, instead of installing Flask directly, want to use a requirements file, you can just use a command like pip install minus r under requirements.txt file. It's going to be similar. The good thing about the requirements file is that we can list the particular versions we want to install from a library. Now that we have Flask installed, we need to run our application. The main file of this repository is going to be the run app file. All right? You can find it inside of the Flask introduction directory. Down there, you see run application.py. I will just do, with my virtual environment active, I will just do python.py. After I do this, you guys will see that the console is taken over by Flask, by the Flask server, and you will see some um, information messages showing that the application is running. After the application is running, I can just go to a particular URL and open it, and I will see that the application is actually going open. If I open the library and I see the first application that I have, I see this welcome to our library message that it's the same one that I'm seeing right here. Again, I don't want to focus on the details and internals of this particular application. I just want you guys to have it running. Every time you access these resource, you will get a new log file, a log line, sorry, in here. There are a few things interesting down here. After we import our application, we are setting the debug mode to true and we are making some configuration so it can run smoothly in different platforms. Um, you might have different issues and you will have to try different configurations for this particular app, but in general terms, it's going to be simple to have it run issues with these default settings. Join us in the following video to understand how Flask application works and create your own website.